Hey everybody, welcome back to Following the Call where we're discussing living the Sermon on the Mount out together. And we are on chapter 26 this week. We're talking about giving when you give. And that's exciting. Uh, it's pretty much what life is all about in a nutshell. Give said the little stream. <laughs> Give, oh, give. <laughs> so I'm going to start us off here by reading verse 1 through 4 from chapter 6 of Matthew. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you." What an awesome and inspiring chapter and mandate from Jesus. It that is. pretty much motivates how we live every day. It should. It should. And um, I guess Obviously, um, the teaching is against hypocrisy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, trying to get a reputation for yourself as a generous person. Um, but I think even more interesting, we should talk about um, what is money for? Who is it for? Who does it belong to ultimately? And I think that's what some of um, our writers in this chapter speak to. Um, Leo Tolstoy, uh, John Chrysostom, Mother Teresa. Yeah. And... Um, it also extends beyond money, I think, to to like our attitudes and our resources. Very much so, whether they be large or small. Right. Um, but I think there is like in Christianity and also in other religions um, this idea that that wealth actually does not belong. All wealth belongs to God, and we are merely stewards of it. Um, and the wealth that we receive is not for us to simply um, spend on ourselves. Um, we are to steward it to, to care for the poor. Um, one of the 12 pillars of Islam um, is uh, something called zakat, which is, which is um, almsgiving as well. And um, there's many ways that, um, that they look at zakat, but there's um, one uh, Muslim mystic, uh, Imam Abu Hamid al-Ghazali, he says... One's giving should be done with a sense of shame at one's meanness in holding back the rest of one's wealth from God. And I found that, you know, like, that's resonant um, with, what, with what Jesus teaches us and, and also um, the attitude of, of the church fathers towards wealth. There's this notion in Catholic social teaching of the universal destination of goods, which basically means, um, you know, goods actually belong to all. Mm -hmm. um, and... You know whether we are wealthy or in you know good circumstances or whether we're in poor circumstances, um, that wealth needs to flow, mm -hmm. and and you know God wants everyone to yeah. live an abundant life. And I think part of that too is just this whole idea that's only found you know through through the gospel and through Christianity that this is our temporary home. Like gaining treasures and collecting things here on earth is actually stupidity because it's not finite it's not final it's not even like what you what's of worth to pass on to the next generation so i think that's also part of what you were discussing there right and it's hard to this is hard to remember like i mean yeah. avarice avarice is. Is, is avariciousness and hoarding and yeah. miserliness these are all um temptations that each of us have uh, mostly because we don't have enough faith um we worry about tomorrow like will i have enough in my larder um, or in my refrigerator if I, you know, um, give to others. Mm -hmm. But um, what is needed is the faith to, to give um, the things that we love the most. Yeah. Not just, and who is it speaks of uh, not giving, um, not giving what we don't want yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's Mother Teresa. Or, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But really to give from the heart. Yeah, yeah, that's true. She says that love, the love you put into the giving is the most important thing. And then gives an anecdote of somebody who was um, a chain smoker who had to smoke every day and um, really sacrificed by trying not to. And the money that he saved um, for a week or so, he 
donated to Mother Teresa and what that, the impact of that, even though it was a mere $15, I mean, you know, that doesn't stand up against the huge donations that other people with means can give, but the sacrifice was what she was illustrating with that story was powerful. Well, in the Gospels, we read a similar story yeah. of the, you know, of the widow's might and how the two copper coins that she put into the treasury were yes. worth more than, um, you know, the huge amounts of gold that the rich people were putting yeah. in. And that kind of relays back. I was going to ask you what you thought of the concept of how the left hand shouldn't know what the right hand is doing and how that practically plays out, like in a church setting or even amongst each other. Um, well, I think we should do our good deeds and not tell each other about them. Yeah. Um, and even personally, we should be so un... I think it is possible, even mm -hmm. individually, to be so self-unaware that you just do good out of habit and you give out of habit and you're not... And you're not thinking about your good deed afterwards. You're just it just happened. Now I am no um, exemplar of this, uh, but I, I think it is possible. Like like mm -hmm. all of these teachings, um, as we forget ourselves more and and surrender ourselves, you know, make room for God in our lives. Uh, these these things will will be given to us. So. Yeah. Anyway, it's very um. I find it very inspiring um, and something to to aspire to, um, that when we give stuff, we're really doing no more than what we ought to do. Right. Um, it's no, it's not to our credit. We're just, we're doing what we're meant to do is to share what we have. Um, because it ultimately is not ours. So. Amen to that. Any so thoughts? Go and, go and give Go and today. give generously <laughs> and we will try to you do the same. You can do it. <laughs> okay. Have a good week. See you next week. Bye.